In 1995, Tyler Perry went to Steve Harvey to ask him to invest in his play. But Steve didn't believe Tyler Perry's play was worth investing in, so he said no, not knowing that he was passing on the opportunity of a lifetime. Today, Tyler Perry has moved from making plays to movies to owning one of the biggest movie studios in the world. His studio is bigger than Disney, Warner Brothers, and Paramount all combined. He said he had this play, and I said, I, I can't do that, man. I can't take a chance. I don't know nothing about no plays. Sure wish the hell I had a bet on your ass. <laughs> in 2009, millionaire, media guru, and motivational speaker Gary V was approached by his good friend Travis Kalanick to invest in a company he just started, but Gary said no. Travis came back and literally begged Gary V to invest in his company, but Gary still said no. He didn't believe Travis's company was worth investing in. Matter of fact, he thought the company had no chance of surviving. That company was Uber. And if Gary V had believed in his friend and invested only $25,000, his investment would be worth over $800 million today. Like literally Travis came back to me and had coffee with me in San Francisco and kind of like begged me to invest because we were such homies. My first book, Crush It. The only people I acknowledge in the book is my family and one random person, Travis. He was investing at that time before Uber and like read the book and gave me some good feedback. Like literally that's how close I was with Travis and I passed twice on the angel round and if I wrote my normal twenty-five to $50,000 check, I would be looking at somewhere in the ballpark of five hundred to eight hundred million dollars in the next couple of months. In 2004, Mark Zuckerberg invited five people to his room to discuss a business opportunity, to talk about an app that would change the entire world, but only two people showed up and today those two people are billionaires. What I want to let you know is that not everybody will believe in your dreams, not everybody will believe in your goals, not everybody will believe in your ideas. When God gives you a vision, most people wouldn't see it. They will try to talk you out of it. They will try to discourage you. And it hurts when these people are your friends, when these people are your family, when these people are the ones you call your loved ones, when they are in the position to help you but choose not to. I want to let you know that your destiny lies in the hand of God and not in the hand of man. And whatever God has said about you will surely come to pass. So don't listen to the doubters. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the haters. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep putting in the work. Keep fighting for your dreams, your goals, your hopes and aspirations. I know it gets lonely at times. I know it can be difficult at times. But trust me, you will surely make it someday. Shalom. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to receive more videos from me on WhatsApp, you can join my WhatsApp group by going to my Facebook page, that is Dr. Dennis Bento. When you get there, just click on like, and then click on follow. Don't forget to click on see first, else you won't see all my posts. You can find my WhatsApp link on any of my posts. Just click on the link and click OK. That's it, you're in. Just so you know, this is a closed group. It's not for chatting, it's not for posting. Only I and my team can post in this group. When you join this group, you can send me a DM, you can ask me questions, you can send me your prayer request, and I and my team are gonna pray for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.